A nuclear deal with Iran would partly focus on the number of centrifuges it can have. These are Iran's main nuclear facilities here at Natanz and underground at Fordo near the city of Rom. The International Atomic Energy Agency estimates Iran has around 20,000 centrifuges, but only 10,000 are operational. The deal would probably reduce that to around 6,000. But weapons experts say even if Iran agrees, it could secretly build more. It's not very difficult to hide these kinds of plants. They don't require huge installations. At the same time, over the past six years, when negotiations were going on since 19, 2006, they have already built up quite a stockpile and even more than what they need so that they can bargain them. Centrifuges are important because Iran can potentially amass enough enriched uranium to make a bomb. Iran has agreed to dilute its 20% enriched uranium and not enrich above a concentration of 5%. The IAEA says Iran is already limiting the production of its reactor-grade fuel, but there are concerns there may be nuclear-related activities unknown to inspectors. That means the agency can't rule out the possibility Iran may be developing a nuclear payload for a missile. So inspectors will want to know how often they can visit sites and what kind of access they'll have. The deal would also ensure that even if Iran broke away from any agreement, the world would have enough time to react.